It does it's not a sperm bank, it's not a blood bank, and it's not a power bank. Power, those are amazing. Great answers, and I think they're all right answers, actually. And guess what? And if they smell bad, tell them, let them go take a shower, and then they can come back all smelling all delicious. Do I smell bad? No, I said if. Because you, it, that sounded like a hint that you were putting across there. I'm just... Good thing they don't have smell-o-vision. <laughs> doing dishes. You want to know why I hate doing dishes? Hold on. <sighs> Not because of the task alone, doing dishes. When I was in 6th, 7th grade, I used to be a figure skater. For all those new minions who don't know my backstory, I used to be a figure skater. I went and did competitions, I've won medals. I'm gonna have to go find them so I could show them to you. There was one jump that I had to practice over and over and over again. One of the jumps that I did with a harness, I actually fell and I landed on my right hip right here. And to prevent the fall, I caught myself on the ice with my hands. So my hand landed on the ice and then my body landed on my hand. Well, I thought I strained it, broke it, something. And the doctor said, actually, after exercise, you smashed your growth plates. So right here in my wrist, I can't show because I'm holding with my other hand, but right here at my bone in my wrist, I smashed my growth plates. And so ever since then, I've had problems with arthritis in my right wrist. So sometimes severe arthritis that it caused maybe like a tennis elbow to go all the way up. The reason why I hate doing dishes is because every time I'm scrubbing or using any type of, type of elbow grease into the dishes, this starts flaming up and it hurts. Don't like doing dishes for that reason alone. When I do weights at the gym, I always have a wristband and tape and gloves normally. That's why I hate doing dishes. Well, good morning, beautiful family. How is everybody doing today? It is another woo, bright, beautiful day outside. Don't mind the torn off screen the dogs ruined my screen but it's a beautiful day outside nice and sunny I'm wearing a tank top in the middle of February waiting for Ronnie to come home we've got some things that we have got to discuss and talk about our future plans and ordeals and today is going to be a day of just nothing but pretty much like Smackdown so we'll probably see you in a little bit when it comes closer to the Smackdown and maybe doing some dinner I don't know we'll see see you later Hey, Minions, how's everybody doing today? I sure hope they're doing good. You chew really loud, Shadow. You are a loud eater. Yes, you are. It's joke time. It's joke time. Tell me the joke. What does a, what does a rock say when he wants to roll to a band? What does a rock say when he wants to roll to a band? I kind of have a feeling. What? Let's rock and roll. <laughs> I figured. That's a good one. Good one. High five. High five. And I, might I just point out my winnings of this week? Yes, that beautiful belt. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What are you playing? I'm just trying to take a picture of something. Of your pad? Yeah. Cool. You and your electronics. So you're going to be the next Steve Jobs? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. What you say? <laughs> because you're so in tune with electronics that I figured that you could be the next Steve Jobs. Hey, I believe in you. I believe in you. You can do anything you want when you put your mind to it. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Hello, everyone. Beautiful day. A happy national. Compliment a duck day. So whether you're roasting one or you see one in the park, give it a compliment. I had the most amazing time stretching in the steam room and sauna today. There's nothing like 
like two days after being really sore and being able to actually stretch and how your muscles feel absolutely amazing so a big shout out to Amy Boom, Lauren Matthews and Dance Spot Live three of our patrons we want to give honor to I definitely don't want to forget them we will continue to do more because I do not want to feel like a pink marshmallow in a glove box Smackdown is on can't wait to see that hopefully got some good news coming up I gotta read a few comments before the answer to the mind teaser. I did see one. Looky what mommy made me. Don't look at all those bills on the floor. Just look at what mommy made me. It's commercial on SmackDown Live. Here's a plastic bag you want. What? What'd you, what'd you say, Willis? I got, the, I got you the plastic bag you wanted. <laughs> all right, thank you, bud. So since I don't eat bread, I decided to do this. Mushroomies. For those who are new to the channel, I am obsessed with mushrooms. I will eat them raw, baked, cooked, fried, sautéed. I do sauté pretty much almost every day. At 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Even 1 o'clock in the morning. They are my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snack half the time, and I go through mushrooms like they are going out of style. So, this is what my dinner is, is eggs and mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And SmackDown. You guys want to talk about how you do it? Why am I losing my voice? What, what, that, what is going on with my voice? You guys, I cannot tell you enough on the new tag team, Bludgeon Brothers, on how much Elijah would have freaked out with this tag team he would have gone all out and started loving the bludgeon brothers that's the way elijah was he likes he likes the dark nitty-gritty type of thing so anytime i see the bludgeon brothers i'm like oh elijah would have loved them he would have freaked out he would have been crazy over them Today I'm going to talk about relationships, YouTube, and social media. I have seen... I don't want to be in this one. I know you don't. I am forcing him to be in this one. I have seen recently way too many YouTubers getting divorced, splitting up, cheating on each other, hurting each other. I wanted to come and talk to you guys about how, if you are a YouTuber, how you can manage your marriage. The number one all-time thing. Your spouse comes first! Your family comes first. If you are having uh, fights and arguments over YouTube, over social media, I think it's time to turn the camera off, concentrate on your relationship. I don't understand how YouTube and social media has become the number one thing and priorities in relationships. I'm talking about out of experience. I'm not judging those who are going through crap right now. I'm talking about my own experience. Stop. Well, I, I, was, I had to scratch my Talking out of my own experience because there was a time that stupid game Ronnie likes to play all the time and not pay attention to me. I'm just kidding. Totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. I was going to rebuttal. <laughs> okay, go re rebuttal that because I was totally kidding. And I only got into that game because you spent 47 hours a day on Facebook. I didn't know there was 47 hours in oh, a day. Oh, that, but there is with you when you have <laughs> four hands doing four different <laughs> accounts at the same time. It's 47 hours in one day. Okay, so I got so addicted to Facebook sitting in a hospital all the time that I was on social media all the time. Now is my outlet. I use YouTube, Facebook, all sorts of social media as my outlet while I sat in the hospital for hours. Can you, like, not pay attention to what you're wearing? We're coming to you guys about this because... We have noticed a trend of, I was so heartbroken the other day to see a certain couple just recently decided that they wanted to split and I was not expecting that. I just think that we need to be honest with each other when we're not on camera because sometimes some things happen over social medias that create couples to split up and I just don't want that to happen to us and so i will set the camera down 
or I will get off of Facebook, or I will do something, get off of YouTube. I won't read comments, just so that way I can spend time with Ronnie. I've had to work on it. To be honest, I've had to work on it because YouTube was my first priority and I've seen so many breakups and so many divorces lately. It's come become this trend on YouTube and sometimes it, they are stating, some of them are stating that YouTube has gotten in the way of their marriage. And that goes back to spending time and wooing your partner. Now, e e even though you do video every day, it's not like we have the camera on 24-7. We don't. I mean, the camera has been laying around for, what, the last six hours before we picked it up again? In that span of six hours, take time and spending time with your spouse, your partner. You do not have to spend 24-7 on social media. That goes back to wooing your partner. Sit next to them. Hold their hands. When we're laying here watching SmackDown, I'll come sit next to him and I'll just put my head on his lap and we'll sit here and watch. In case you didn't know, the average person checks their phone over 85 times a day. We're Even talking more. We're talking well, we're talking just notifications. Yeah. We're not talking you getting on there. I'm talking checking it just for notifications. I mean, that is a lot. Social media electronics have become such a vital part in our lives that I think we forget to have that face, actual FaceTime, not electronic FaceTime, not iPhone FaceTime, actual FaceTime with each other. And we need to remember that having actual conversations with each other is a whole lot more important than having conversations to a camera. So when I say we've had a boring day, it's probably because I'm actually spending time with my family, with Caden, or, you know, I don't need to pick up the camera every second for everything that I do. Families are more important to us. You know, to put that out there, that if you are going to be a YouTuber, or if you are a daily vlogger, or if you're planning on it, we give, we give that advice is to put that camera down for a few minutes and spend time with your spouse, make sure you are FaceTiming them in real life FaceTiming and making sure that you don't forget who they are why you're married in the first place because I'm sure getting married has nothing to do with YouTube. And if they smell bad, tell them, let them go take a shower and then they can come back all smelling all delicious. Do I smell bad? No, I said if. Because you, it, that sounded like a hint that you were putting across there. I'm just... Good thing they don't have smell-o-vision. So that's it. It's a simple short to uh, married couples or even those who are not on YouTube who spend a lot of time on social media watching YouTube all day. Put down your camera, put down your social media, and spend time with your partner, whoever you are with. It is important that you have conversation and FaceTime. That's it for today. I hope you guys in are enjoying these videos. If you are enjoying these videos, thumbs up and let us know in the comments below that you guys are enjoying our relationship tips. And if you have a tip that you want us to talk about, let us know as well. Shout out to Debs McLeod, one of our patrons. Again, she was the first one to get it first right. First and only one right now. Right now and since we're filming this. Now, there were some many, many great answers. There's really, they're, you know what? They were kind of right answers. Yes, it's one of the first times, they even though right. they only got the one that I wanted. We were looking for a specific answer, yes. So, what kind of bank does that, doesn't have any money? It does, it's not a sperm bank, it's not a blood bank, and it's not a power bank. Power, those are amazing. Great answers, and I think they're all right answers, actually. But and, and they are. That wasn't a, exactly what Ronnie was it, it was a river bank. That is the only one. So, Debs, shout out to you again. But I loved, I loved all the the answers. So. so shout out to everybody who said those types of things. I haven't shout been able to, to comment on any of the answers because I was worried about reading them all and going through and seeing who got the right ones. So, hey, I think hopefully I'll shoot off another mind teaser this week. Hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't yet, press that red subscribe button because we got some some fun stuff coming up, some surprises. I'm so excited. Hello, hello, hello. To all our new family members, hey, please leave it in the comments below. We'd love to say hi to you. Don't forget to favorite and share your art. We will see you guys all for another vlog. We love you guys so, so much. Ciao.